Hey guys, hope you're well. Nick Davis, uh, psychotherapy, hypnotherapy, NLP, and life coaching. So today we're going to be talking about uh, more of the coaching side of things that I do, not necessarily the therapy side. So what I've done is I've had a look across um, why some people don't succeed despite being ambitious and motivated. Now. Um, what I do is I don't include my clients in this because one of the things I do with my clients, I'm really, really honest with my clients about if you want to achieve something, this is what you have to do. Um, so this is more outside of things maybe in my friendship circle, social circle, things like that, or my wider circle of people are now outside of my business clients. And sometimes I'll get people that'll ask me for advice. You know, sometimes I'll meet people socially or something like that. And they'll say, you know, I want to achieve this or I want to achieve this and I'm, I can't manage to do it. Can you tell me why? And it always boils down to the same thing. So, you know, I'm going to take out those people who are negative because obviously if you have a negative mindset, that's going to impact, you know, in terms of what you achieve. Because basically what you unconsciously believe about yourself and about life generally tends to come true because your brain focuses on making that come true. You know, the inner work into the unconscious mind or what in the medical profession calls your non-conscious mind. Um so we'll take those people, the negative people out, the people that are not ambitious, that don't want to achieve goals. So when we take all those things away, so when we look at people who are positive and ambitious, I'm going to say ambitious, they're goal set driven. There are things that they want to achieve um, for themselves, um, their families or whatever else. Why those people don't succeed and why they don't uh, achieve what they want to do. And the one thing I've found that it is that holds them back is these people only like doing the things that they enjoy so it may be you know and there's a lot of this stuff around you know find out what your what your calling is in life what do you enjoy doing what are you good at this and the other you need to find that niche to find out what you're naturally good at where your skills are but also what you need to do and this is the kind of the misinformation that's out there you can't just do what you enjoy every day um, because it's not going to achieve, you know, happiness, wealth, success and all those things. You know, there's a certain amount of work you have to do. It's like, um, uh, you know, there are certain things you've got to do. It's like I joke, you know, I'm, I've just started training again at the moment. It's freezing cold. I've got my uh, gym set up in my garage, my boxes, punch bag, you know, my weights, all my gloves and everything else. And the, it's cold in there, snow heating. So I have to literally force myself to get in there um, and I say you know if you want to lose weight you want to get fit there's going to be discomfort and there's only growth in discomfort so what I found with these people who are positive and ambitious that don't achieve anything or don't achieve what they want to achieve and they generally stay stuck a lot of them you know and don't actually move forward is they don't do the things that are unpleasant or uncomfortable they don't go into the discomfort so if you think about it you know, in life is, you know, I've had some dark times and some very difficult experiences I've had to go through and I've shared that on lots of, lots of other videos. I'm very open about that. But my growth has only happened in those times of discomfort, in those times where it was really, really difficult for me to get through things. But that's where I've done all my learning. All the times where I've been successful or, you know, you celebrate things, you don't learn anything. It's That's the bit where you you know, for, if you're in sport, you pick up the trophy and everything else. That's the culmination of all the hard work. But the trophy represents your journey, what you've been through to get there. And I work with, you know, a lot of sports are so, so difficult. You know, uh, people don't realise the effort that, you know, you, you know, when you start a sport as a child, you know, going through to becoming an adult and spending a lifetime doing those things, the training and everything else you have to go through. It's so tough. So the pinnacle of everything is a success, but people only see the success. They don't see all the hardship that people go through. So one of the things that I would invite you guys to do is to, you know, if you really want to uh, achieve a goal, there's a price to pay. And the price to pay is the discomfort that you've got to go through and the journey that you have to go through to get there. And that's what you pay. So every time I do something, I don't look for immediate results. I can start training again now and everything else. And I just go, look, you know, I need to lose body fat. And it's just the way it is. It's like, I'm not going to do it in a week, two weeks, a month. It's a steady progress that I need to get myself in my home gym to do that. I'm going to join the gym again. I've just obviously moved six months ago. So uh, I'm going to join the gym, but um, it's not the right time to do it because I've got January is a really busy month for me. So it's about putting those the hardships in those regular um you know what you know whether it's business whether it's uh, you know training or whatever else it is you have to put the activities in that are unpleasant and get yourself there again and again and again i mean what, what's really helpful this is super cheap 
Um, I've got a goals book. Um, uh, the only limit is you, and what it does is basically you can write your goals down. Excuse me. You basically, I mean, I've written them in, the person is me, so I won't share it, but you basically, I don't know if you can see that, it's got basically got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'll just put it back, see if we can get a bit of light on there. And you write down the things you want to achieve and then make sure you do things every day. So, for instance, you know, there are little things that I do in terms of health and making me feel good. So, I have 10 breaths in every morning, taking in deep diaphragmatic breaths. So, you know, that's great for your stress levels, great for starting your day. Things like um, listening to hypnosis audios, going for walks, skipping boxing weights, fasting, reading, uh, seeing clients and students. Um, doing stuff on my house that I need to get done and things like that. And what that does, as long as I kind of tick all those things off, it means that I'm going to be getting nearer to the goals that I put on the left hand side of the page. Now I've got this from uh, Wilco, three pound Wilco, honestly, they're still doing them. It's literally one of the best three pounds I've ever spent. There's notes, pages in the back and all sorts. But this little book, this three pound has probably helped me achieve more than most things that I've done because, you know, consistency is the key to success, regularly doing things. So I say to people is, you know, I had a phrase that I came up with the other day is failure will show you what your limits are. So as soon as you fail at something, you know your limits. So when I was on the punch bag the other day doing a few rounds of skipping, a few rounds on the punch bag, when I first started, it was like two, three rounds really hard. And I was like, oh, I can't do any more because I haven't done it for ages. And then I managed to do four, five, six, and you, and you continue and continue. So the consistency, when you, re <clears throat> when you reach failure, it just shows you your limit, but your consistency of doing it again and again and again will move those limits to make sure that you're moving further and further and further and achieving more. And if you do this over a lifetime, you'd be surprised, you know, what you can achieve. It's like, you know, I've, on my sports uh, YouTube site, www.youtube.com forward slash Nick Davis Sports, or Nick Davis Sport, yeah, I think it's Nick Davis Sports. Um, I've interviewed loads and loads of different inspiring sports people about what they've done. And what you'll find, the common denominator is they're just normal people that started out with a goal and a dream and then just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. And then eventually they end up achieving their dreams. Some really good stuff on there, really motivating. I love to motivate people. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. But firstly, you need to plan what your goals are. And then what you need to do is you need to plan the activities that you need to do to get yourself there. Now, some of those are going to be nice. Some of those you're going to enjoy. Some of them you're not. But they're the most important ones, the ones that you don't enjoy. They're the ones that you need putting in and you need putting in in your little green book to just say, yep, did it Monday, did it Wednesday, did it Friday or whatever else. And it's okay to fail. You know, my, I'm not consistent every day with my stuff. You know, life happens and uh, things get in the way, so I can't do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to work with me personally, go to www.ndhypnotherapy.com. That's therapy and coaching. Um, if you want to study with me to become a therapist or do any of my courses, go to www.wsoh.co.uk. If it's to do with sport and you're working in sport, or you know somebody who wants to work with me in sport, it's www.ndsp.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and share it with anybody you think it would help. I'm trying to inspire others to be able to achieve their dreams uh, as best as they can. Okay, take care guys and I'll speak to you on the next video.